All right, a lot of folks have been asking for this video. We're going to be talking about some of the holiday and Christmas scents from Fable Beard Co. I think I've got like eight scents here to go over with you. We'll give you the full rundown. Um, but welcome first. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And Fable's come out, well, I don't know how many scents, probably at least 500 scents over the, over the past five years or so. And uh, always goes big for fall and Halloween and Christmas. So we've got Christmas scents and I know there's... I think there's at least six brand new scents. Um, so I've got eight scents here. And then like soon as I ordered, like the next day, there were like three or four more scents that's come out. So I don't have all of the scents for this year, but I will tell you about all of those in just a minute. Uh, but quick rundown on what you uh, can get these scents in. The products is $17.99 for an oil, which in this case, uh, these days, that's now a little bit under market average, I think. So I think they've had that same price for a long time, but you can always save 15% with my affiliate code, which is Banjo15. Always appreciate your guys' support when you uh, use the code. Uh, you can get a balm for $21.99, uh, four ounce butter for for $24.99, all types of combos you can get, oil butter, oil balm, all that kind of stuff. They also have the uh, Beard Wash, $19.99, uh, eight ounce conditioner for $24.99, <clears throat> natural deodorant for $12.99, uh, cologne for $39.99. So all different kind of combinations you can get in that. All right, let's start going over the scents here. I've got eight of them, as I said, and then there's like four more that I have not gotten. <clears throat> All right, the first one, which I think is new for this year, is called Drummer Man instead of Little Drummer Boy. And this one is Tobacco Vanilla Peppermint Stick and Bourbon Oak. And this is a nice one. You know, overall, you with, with Christmas scents, you get a lot of, uh, you know, sweet scents and uh, a lot of Christmas spice and uh, some of that kind of stuff can get a little bit too sweet and foody sometimes. Uh, this one is not. So this is a, a nice break. There's a few of those in here. I like more the, the Christmas tree kind of scents, uh, the woodsy and the cologne and that kind of stuff that gets mixed in sometimes. But uh, tobacco, vanilla, peppermint stick, and bourbon oak. So, you know, the tobacco, vanilla, and bourbon oak is a nice, hearty uh, kind of cologne type of scent. And just a little bit of peppermint just to lighten it. You can smell it. It kind of smells cool on that. So a nice kind of cool cologne. Uh, really, really good one there. So that one's called Drummer Man. Next up, we've got Toy Maker, which I think might be new for this year. Like I said, I have a hard time keeping up with it after all these years. Um, this one's Roasted Marshmallow Latte vanilla bourbon and pipe tobacco and if you like uh, the coffee scents uh, especially the ones from fable um, some of those uh, type of scents um, what was the one he had the scribe if you like the scribe you're probably going to like uh, toy maker because of the uh, latte that's in it uh, but then you do get the, a little bit of the marshmallow and uh, vanilla bourbon and the pipe tobacco so all that plays very well it smells very nice i'm not big on uh, coffee scents in my beard uh, but once again that's got uh, it's a little bit on the sweeter side as well so if you like coffee scents and sweeter scents you may want to try out toy maker next up we've got the elfinator and that one is candy canes corns uh, candy corn and syrup this is way sweet. Uh, so if you, it's basically candy canes mixed with, was it called the lumberjack maybe from the fall lineup that had like maple syrup in it. So um, if you like that kind of really sweet stuff, it's the it's maple syrup, candy corn, and then you put a little bit of the candy cane. Once again, it kind of lightens it with the peppermint uh, in it, but that one is very, very sweet. All right, next up, we've got one that's not so sweet. This one's a really good one here. It's called uh, Krampus. All right, and Krampus is evergreen wreath, uh, pine bows or boughs, death the halls with boughs of, I'm gonna say boughs, pine uh, boughs and um, spiced apples. All right, and the apple's not too, it's not too sweet or not too uh, too foody on that one. So you get the uh, the evergreen and the pine. So you get kind of the Christmassy, uh, Christmas greenery, uh, Christmas tree-ish. Uh, and then you put a little bit of that uh, apple with it and just not much spice on it. Maybe just a t touch of cinnamon, which kind of makes it smell like a, a nice potpourri of uh, good Christmas scent. So I really like that one as well, Krampus. And then one of my all-time favorites, I know a lot of people love, uh, Jack Frost been trying it for years christmas pine fir trees and peppermint stick is just the perfect blend of christmas tree and and peppermint uh, so a nice cool uh, scent that i like wearing that's not foodie uh, and then we got uh, next up which is called uh, i think it's called the claws 
C-L-A-U-S. And this one is Christmas cookies, fresh milk, and vanilla frosting. And once again, this one is a, uh, a sweet scent, but it smells, this one's the one that reminds me of a, of, of a scene. Uh, this one smells like the sugar cookies that you bake, uh, that maybe, you know, you decorate and you put the icing on, uh, that you lay out for Santa when he comes overnight before you go to bed. That's exactly what this smells like. That smells very authentic. Uh, it doesn't smell fake. So, uh, even though I'm not big on these type of scents, this one, I kind of dig, I think I wear that one just to, because of the scene that it paints uh, you guys ever remember doing that maybe with your kids i've done that with uh, several nieces and nephews over the years uh, just uh, bake the cookies and decorate them before, before santa comes so that's what that one reminds me of Next up, we've got the Ginger Beard Man, warm gingerbread, rich toffee, and Christmas spices. And you get the gingerbread and a lot of cinnamon, I think, is the Christmas spices. So if you're sensitive to cinnamon, you may want to steer away from uh, the Ginger Beard Man. And sometimes my skin can be sensitive to a lot of cinnamon, uh, cinnamon stick, the authentic stuff on it. All right. And then last up, we've got the Ugly Sweater Guy, as far as the ones that I have. This one is butterscotch bourbon, balsam fir, and vanilla cookies. And once once again, this one's one that's on the sweet side, but also that butterscotch bourbon. A bourbon is rich and buttery, uh, so you get that. And then there's just a little bit of that balsam fir in there, but to me, it's not enough to, to pull it away from being too sweet and foody for me. All right, so those are the eight that I have. Quickly here, because I can, I'm going to give you the rundown on the other four scents as well, in case you want to pick those up. Some of those sound pretty good to me as well. One's called The Guardian. It is vanilla liqueur, French vanilla, and fresh strawberries, which is interesting. Most of the time you don't hear of strawberries used around Christmas time. Uh, Silent Night with a K is peppermint snowflakes, vanilla, sugar, and hot chocolate. All right, and frostbite, which is icy peppermint, iceberg frost, and cool vanilla. So it sounds like your peppermint vanilla. Uh, that one I might like, I might not. I don't like tons of vanilla. If it's just a little bit of vanilla, that might work well for me. And then probably my favorite out of those would be the Innkeeper, which is Cranberry Woods, Pine Tree Farm, and Cran Apple Melody. If you guys are uh, watching have tried any of those new scents, let us know how you like them in the comments and how you like some of these other scents, which ones are your favorites. Uh, check those out. Make sure you use the code BANJO15 and uh, click the link down in the description below. And as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon and happy holidays.